Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And we are, of course, in another video in our series on keeping Windows safe, Windows 10, Windows 11. And once again, the same tips that I give here apply to Linux, apply to Mac, apply to Android, whatever you're using, it's all the same. We've talked about Windows updates being extremely important blocking out 95% plus of all the bad stuff out there. The other thing, the second thing, still not the antivirus. Second thing is what you do online. And what do I mean by that? Because a lot of people have the impression that, you know, oh, well, just going online and, and, and clicking, you know, on a website is dangerous. And it all depends where you're going. And it all depends, of course, your browser needs to be up to date, but it all depends where you're going. All the standard websites that you'll go to, the popular websites that most people go to, are totally safe. They're not going to bring malware. Most people as that I've seen as a tech guy that had malware when browsing the internet do things out of the ordinary. We're going to say it like that. They'll go to pornographic sites. These are among the most uh, infected with all sorts of things that try to infect a machine. They will go to illegal movie sites, try to download the latest movie without paying, getting free music. Um, and I'm not talking about you know things like Spotify and stuff like that. I'm talking about downloading music from illegal websites for free to 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 you know listen to um these are all sites that are extremely dangerous downloading illegal software you know want to cheat and get that uh, on microsoft office for free uh these are all things that are going to get you in trouble these are all things that are going to be dangerous to do not the standard, I'm just looking at a website, going to different websites of things I love and looking at recipes and stuff like that. One of the things that they will try to do that you can, of course, avoid is, first of all, when I told you that having everything up to date is a big, big insurance policy to stay safe. Well, even if you go on illegal sites, downloading you know, illegal movies, stuff like that, you're already blocking. You're already blocking a lot of the bad stuff because you're up to date. So all the scripts that could try to infect a machine are unable because your browser is up to date, your computer is up to date. It resides then on a lot of other things that you will actually do by yourself in a web page. For example, if you go on pornographic sites. Well, it might pop up your favorite, you know, uh, actor or artist that you find cute. And they're going to say, oh, well, you know, if you click here and download this player, you're going to get access to naked whatever. That if you do that, you're, you're done. Um, there's a lot of the fake, even though <laughs> Flash Player is still something that's not, you know, it's not been used in a while now because it's flash player is a thing from the past there's still a lot of pop-ups of you know you got to install the latest flash player and it could be any other thing uh, install the latest video player of this thing or that thing these are all going to give you uh, malware they're all going to give you viruses and i could bet you that whatever antivirus you use half of them will not even be detected as malware from your antivirus and you'll be stuck with a virus or malware on your PC. Illegal movies, same thing. What they're going to do? Oh, well, if you want to have the latest, greatest movies and all the ones that are right now in the cinemas, oh, download this player. This player gives you access to everything for free. Once again, you'll be bitten by malware. It all has to do with your behavior. This is the number one thing after updates, the number one reason why you're going to get bitten is you will accept any types of, you know, online proposition of new players and 
updating whatever content or Flash Player or things like that. You don't need to update anything on your PC um, when you're surfing the web. The browser does everything. The browser is what displays the content. And the browsers today have all the technology for all the different content that's out there. It's not like in the past where you had to download real player or that thing or update flash because that did happen at, uh, in, in the past. That's why all of those software are not there anymore because they were security hazards, security risks. Today, it's all in the browser. There's no, oh yeah, I got to download it and update this thing to see whatever. It, it's not required. You don't have to do this anymore. So make sure that you don't fall for that. But even better, make sure that you're a good internet citizen and that you don't go to these illegal websites because you're going to get bitten. I don't know how many times I've went to uh, fix computers, remove viruses, or re reinstall, and I would tell the person, you know, you paid me this amount of money to fix your computer because you went and um, downloaded two or try to download two illegal movies. And then you'd look at them and you say, you know, if you purchased the movies on DVD, you would have uh, saved money actually, because it would have been less expensive than paying the, the fee that I actually am charging for that computer to be fixed. And that happens often. And uh, that, of course, means that you're playing a um, you know a security you have you are a security hazard on your PC if you do illegal stuff. So just be careful and follow your instincts when something doesn't look right. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.